guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is SIK Mr. Back J if you're new here welcome so basically in today's video I'm gonna be testing out a few new products that's right in this bag right here and in case you're wondering I didn't buy them from Mecca Maxima I just basically put everything I'm gonna use on my face for today's video in one bag oh, I'll be using the brush as well but yeah so if you're interested in seeing how these new makeup products I'm gonna be testing out gonna work out be sure to come more watching this video and if you haven't subscribed yet be sure to please subscribe to my channel and also be sure to no turn on your notification when you subscribe so that we can be notified every time I upload a new video okay all right so the first thing I'm gonna test out is the NARS Pro Perfecting Primer I've always wanted to test this out I initially was gonna test out the Hourglass Veil Primer mineral veil primer and i do have a sample of that as well but for the life of me i can't find it i don't know where i placed it literally like i've lost it so i've got a sample of the nars pore perfecting primer right here so i'm just gonna go ahead and test it out i'm always on the lookout for a good primers i do have a lot of primers in my collections that are quite good but i'm always on the lookout for good or better primer this primer weighs for 50 australian dollars so we'll see i don't know if this primer does anything for oily skin and this is not the best time to test if it does anything for oily skin anyway because it's already like eight o'clock at nine right now so i'm just gonna see if it does something for my pores because it says pore perfecting so well let's just see it smells really really good it almost kind of smells like my dove soap it smells so good i don't know what this is supposed to do um it says pore perfecting it's not perfecting my pores so and I've got large pores right here, but it's not perfecting shit. It's not perfecting anything. So maybe it's supposed to perfect your pores over time. All right, the next thing I'm gonna test out is the NYX Born to Glow Liquid in Illuminator in the shade Sunbeam. I've always wanted to test this out, and I know this is not my shade, but I don't know if it's supposed to be a kind of shade, something good for your shade kind of thing. Maybe you can use any shade, I don't know, but I know there's a darker shade of the Illuminators, but I don't have that. And I actually got this in the, um, goodie bag that they gave us at the NYX face award so i just kind of want to test this out and just kind of see it is quite bright okay oh actually it's pink it's pink in color i don't know if you can see that like it's pink in color so they said this um it's a lightweight liquid illuminator that gives skin a refreshed glow and a beautiful highlight so i'm just gonna focus it in the areas where i would like to like look radiant from the inside out and just kind of see i like the formula though Ooh, look at that glow and by the way i gave the primer a few minutes to kind of set in so you always want to do that way after you apply primer you want to give it a few minutes i think i applied too much but <laughs> i'm glowing all right so it's looking a little bit patchy i kind of thought it was going to blend out evenly but it didn't perhaps maybe i didn't use it the right way i don't know let me know if you can down below please but it feels quite nice on the skin it feels a little bit tacky so i guess my foundation will stay on it properly now speaking of which the next thing is foundation now i don't really know what i'm going to test out first i was going to do a foundation test on this but i feel like i've been taking too long in testing the album products and i feel like a few a few of you guys might be interested in it so oh apologies to brody brody she did email me which is the lady that sent me these products and she asked if i had tested it and i opened my email a few days ago and i was like crap I haven't replied her yet, I will reply her. By the way, if you're interested in buying any of these album products, I'm gonna put a link, put her link at the top of my description box, so go and check it out. I have the album Perfecting Liquid Foundation SPF 15, and I also have the album CC Cream. And guys, this will be my first time trying the CC Cream. I've never ever used the CC Cream. I have used the BB Cream before, and for the life of me, I just the point of it. <laughs> to be honest but um cc cream i've never tried it before so this one they say video coverage light to medium okay good and the foundation you guys know i love my foundations all right so this is what the foundation looks like i have to look the packaging it's nice it's nice and simple and guys if you did watch that um my previous unboxing or beauty haul video you know that i said this foundation is a little bit dark she did email me and ask if she, if, she, if i wanted her to send me a live foundation gosh i did i haven't applied it yet i just didn't really want her to because i, I didn't want to i don't like putting people through too much stress and whatnot so i'm gonna have to like kind of just tailor this foundation to suit me it is a bit darker okay but this is what it looks like it comes with a 30 ml bottle and it also comes with a pump which is fantastic so they say this foundation is a multitasking liquid foundation with skin firming properties helps lift the appearance of facial contours oh nice and smooths an even skin tone while providing sun protection so it has spf 15 okay so they say apply prior to sun exposure 
Displace foundation and apply to entire face. Blend well with fingertips and sponge, okay? So the first ingredients of this is water. So this should be good for oily skin. Oh God, I really should do a foundation test on this. I think I'm gonna put it aside. I really wanna do a foundation test on this, so. Okay, so since I'm not gonna be using the foundation, I'm so sorry guys. I'm just gonna go ahead and use a CC cream, which is gonna be my very first time using the CC cream. So it comes in a squeeze tube and it's starting meal as well. All right, so this is the shade right here. I think that's pretty close. I'm so nervous, why am I nervous? It's just the foundation. Just think of it as a watered down foundation maybe. It feels like a foundation. That might be too light for my skin tone, but it's just blended out. It's very, very sheer. I feel like I'm not applying anything on my face. So is this what CC cream is? Oh my days. I had no idea. It is so sheer. Oh my gosh. So that's what CC cream is. Oh my days. I had no idea. Why am I panicking? Right. Esther, remember, this is not a foundation. This is a cream. Did they say apply with fingers as well? Let me use my fingers. It feels really, really moisturizing, actually. It feels really... Can you feel... How can you feel that? What am I saying? Esther, stop. It feels like I just moisturize my face, but with color. Even the color, you can't really see as much on my finger. You can just see some little bit of a tint. I need a foundation on my face. I know I said I was gonna just put this aside and do a foundation test on it. I'm just gonna go ahead and use it now. It's so dark. I'm just gonna go ahead and use it. Be aware, I know it's very dark, but we're gonna cancel it out, okay? Okay. Okay? Okay. <laughs> I know it's dark. I know. I said I know. Oh, that feels so good. The idea that I had before was to actually mix the CC cream in with the foundation, but now that I know the formula of the CC cream, I feel like it's the CC cream might not show through with the foundation, but why not? Let me just try it. But damn, if if this was my exact shade, you will know, you will see that this is a beautiful coverage. Medium coverage, but it's a really good medium coverage. Oh my God. <laughs> I look like I dip my face in a bowl of Milo or chocolate. <laughs> I look really dark right now, I know. But guys, this is great news. The fact that you can find a foundation that goes this dark in Australia is fantastic. So, oh, 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 it looks like it might work. That worked. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and mix it together. Okay, I'm just gonna put one pump. Oh, why is it adding as drops? Just a little bit of the foundation and mix it together. Like you see how that how the foundation kind of increased the coverage of the CC cream. I'm glowing. My skin looks beautiful. All right, Alburn. Well done. It still feels quite tacky though, so I think. It definitely needs a powder to set and just using my brush just kind of go over it. I like the formula of this foundation guys. It's easy to blend out. It's a nice medium coverage which can pass off as a full coverage. And honestly, and I'm really, really glad I finally found out what CC cream does. I don't know if I'm gonna be waiting for it every day. All right, so that's foundation done. Next, we're gonna go into concealer. And Alvin actually did send me a concealer as well. This is the liquid concealer and it looks like so. Look at the packaging. It looks really good. It looks like a lipstick and it's it's a glass bottle as well. This is the shade deep. And it comes in a 0.1 fluid ounce or three mil if you live on the other side of the world. And it also comes with a wand. I've opened it before. Oh, this is a bit dark. But I'm still gonna go ahead and use this. It's quite red, but it is creamy as well. Wow, it's pretty. It's very controlled. We'll go ahead and add the Babylon concealer right on top. Just kind of cancel out the redness because I need a bit of yellow on my face right now. Actually, I lied. I'm going in with the Kat Von D concealer because it's what's it's because it's close by. <laughs> and this is in a shade D31 warm. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and set the concealer and the part I'm gonna be using, which I've been meaning to do a first impression on, and I was gonna do a dedicated video for this powder, but I'm gonna include it in this video, okay? I am gonna be using two powders actually, one from Armand and the second powder I'm actually really talking about, come out, is the Derma Blend Professional Loose Setting Powder. This is the shade Warm Saffron. It comes sealed as, as well, so it comes with a sieve on the inside. As you can see, 
bad at all. Don't put it on my lid. Oh, that's beautiful. This is beautiful. Look at how beautiful that is. I love this powder. This is really nice. Can you see how beautiful my skin looks? Can you see that? This is so nice. I like this powder. It just gives my under eye that extra oomph. I want to put it all over my face, but there's one more powder that I want to test, so I can't. It's just so beautiful. It's I don't, there's no words, literally no words, no words. All right, so the next powder is the oopsie, the Urban Got You Covered Mineral Powder Foundation SPF 15. I love Urban's pack packaging and the symbol is just A and A, and it just looks so luxurious. So it comes with a sieve with a cover like that, and when you open it up, baby, the inside is cushion like cushion i just like that so all i have to do is literally go into the powder with my sponge and it will catch what it needs like it's so nice i love this it's silky smooth weightless mineral powder foundation creates natural looking shine free and beautiful coverage we've got you covered for flawless looking beautiful skin oh my gosh okay it looks like my favorite things that I've tested out in today's video are the powders. I mean, I loved, I loved the foundation, the formula of it, but the powders, powders are out of this world. Look at that beautiful bronzed up face. Can you see that? Okay. Ooh, nice. Oh girl. All right. So Arban actually sent me eyeshadow. I'm going to be testing that as well, but I'm also going to be testing a few NYX eyeshadows as well. First of all, this is the eyeshadow that Arbon sends. It comes in this. It's so cute. These are the eyeshadows right here. Can you see that? So this is kind of like a deep berry shade. And this is a bright highlighting shade. For the NYX eyeshadows, I want to test out. I have a few of these eyeshadows that NYX actually gifted me when I went to the Laurier headquarters to talk to them about lack of shades from Australia for women of color. <laughs> So I was quite grateful to be gifted these. All right, so right here we have the shade Liquid Gold. This one in the middle is the shade Girl Talk. And this one right here is called Bedroom Eyes. <laughs> we have Bedroom Eyes. Here we have Girl Talk. This one is my favorite right here. This one coming up, Liquid Gold. Look at how pretty that looks. Can you see that? All right, so I literally do not know what I'm going to be doing with the eyes, but I've got the colors in front of me and we're just going to go, okay? Generally, I would go in with a light shade as a transition, but I don't have any and I only want to use the things that's in front of me because I can't bother getting up to go and <laughs> get more. So first of all, I'm going to grab this shade, the lighter shade, and I'm just going to put it on my brow bone and I'm using the pencil brush. Why is that so subtle though? Oh wait, it comes with a mirror too. I could actually just use the mirror that's in there. I kept trying to pack it on, but it is so subtle. All right, so I'm going to go in with the dark shade and I'm just using a blending brush. I'm just going to go ahead and pack this in my outer corner and just blend it out. Just kind of smoke out to my outer corner. I love these shadows and look, there's no fallout. Ow. There's no fallout. It's going to blend out the edge of it so it does so there's no ash line okay now i'm going into these things right here i'm so excited it looks like i might only end up using one shade out of all these eyeshadows and i'm just gonna pack it and these guys are quite creamy actually let me just see what happens let's see if i need to oh i don't need to spray it oh nice oh oh wow this is nice this is pigmented this eyeshadow look is so simple and i am very very simple i'm a very simple girl Grabbing a pencil brush and I'm going into this deep purple shade. I actually really like this shade. And I'm gonna smoke out my bottom lid. And I just had an idea. So I'll just do it halfway and then I'll go back in with Girl Talk and I'll put this on my bottom lid from here to here. I really love the packaging, guys. Look at that little quick, cute little ribbon right there. It's so cute. You know, this would be great as a highlighter. would be nice as a highlighter pink and gold does it work does it matter all right so now wing is on or wings are on <laughs> so now i'm just gonna go in with mascara and i always think this is really cool Arbo sent me a tester i think this is a tester this is if they say it's a long story mascara mascara it's a long story so guys i'm going to do my wing it's a long story just like how my wings are it's a long story right now <laughs> i mean yeah i'm gonna put mascara on 
I just combed out all my hairs. This wand, if this is their tester wand, they need to start like bringing out these because the wand just combed out all my hairs. All right guys, so my battery died and I had to charge it. So while it was charging, I basically just went ahead and applied that highlight and guess what? I used the NYX, the eyeshadow, the, is it actually a, an eyeshadow? Yeah, it is. They're actually called prismatic shadow. So I used the shade Girl Talk, you know, the pink shade and I used this as highlight and it just looks really, it looks really stunning. And I put it in my, in the bridge of my nose as well. And I went ahead and I contoured using the Auburn eyeshadow, you know, this one right here. So I went ahead and I used it just kind of control my nose a little bit anywho so now we're gonna go on to the lips i actually sent me a lipstick and a lot of lipstick samples as well which i'm gonna show you in a second but this one is what i want to show you i did show you guys in my previous video this lipstick right here look, look at that packaging it looks so so cute so so nice and also on top of the lipstick is also this symbol as well i literally don't want to use it because i don't want the name to disappear but i'm gonna swatch it i'm just gonna <laughs> use the back of it to kind of swatch it so i can show you guys oh it's a pink shade it kind of matches my nail actually all right but i feel like my face is calling for a little bit of brown and a little bit of gold so i'm gonna go in to the other lipstick sample they sent me so this is the smooth over lipstick and look at all those colors right here they also sent over the glossed over lip gloss samples as well and that's what the packaging looks like i'm gonna use the shade terra the shade right here Oh, where did it go? Oh, it's disappearing into my lip. It's, can you see it? You can't see it at all, can you? This reminds me of the shade Beauty Mark from NYX. You know the NYX lip lingerie? Whoa. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh it's a nice lipstick. <laughs> this looks like the shade Beauty Mark. That's it right there. So this is the shade Terra. Now we're going to go into the gloss. Oof. I want to grab this mallow. Look. Looks so good. All right, here we go. That is such a thick, creamy consistency. Oh, that's a really nice topper. That one tastes so good. Why does that taste so good? You know the last time I tasted the lipstick that tastes this good was the e.l.f. lipstick. And you, you guys know I tasted that. It tastes really good. These companies have... Oh, you guys have to stop making lipstick taste good because I'm just gonna keep eating them. All right, so that's it. Eh. All right. Oh, also I forgot to mention I just went ahead and sprayed my face. These are the NYX matte finishing spray as well as the Mario Badescu skincare. I'm still testing this out, guys. I was gonna try out the Models Prefer makeup setting spray, but I forgot. I literally forgot. <laughs> And I was like, okay. So that's my face all done. I also, honestly, the fact that we started with a really dark foundation, I'm glad we're able to get here. Honestly, looking at my face in the mirror right now, everything looks nice and smooth. That NYX prismatic shadow is nice and popping. My lips are quite glossy. Even though I'm more of a matte girl, I'm not minding this right now. So I absolutely love the way it looks. I was originally going to throw on a wig, but I just kind of thought it's going to cover all this. <laughs> and I don't want it to. I don't know what to do with my hair, guys. So everything I tried out today actually was really good. I didn't really have any miss. Everything was a hit, you know, which is really good. Um, this is my second first full face of first impressions and everything was really good. My first one, I had a miss. There was a miss there yeah <laughs> all right so that's it for me for today be sure to check out my two previous videos just right there just right there be sure to check it out and as always whatever you want to love yourself and i'll see you guys in my next video Bye bye